Hi, this is Rahul from Tech Tutor and welcome to the channel. This is a new tutorial series on Agile Jira tool and in this series I'll be covering how to create new Agile project and how to write epics, user stories, creating sprints and tracking work using this tool. I also intend to cover the basic configurations that you need for a given project using this tool and all of this will be covered as part of a series of videos uh, on, on this channel. So in today's tutorial, we'll see how to create a new Agile project and uh, write some user stories and epics for the project. And uh, we'll also see how to create sprints for the project using this tool. So let's get started. Uh, for creating a new project, you need to go to the projects tab and click on create project. And uh, And once you do that, uh, uh, you will see that, you know, on the uh, project type, you need to select Agile Scrum, click on Next, and you give the name of the project, and click Submit. And here we go, uh, the project has been created. Now the first thing that you will have to do is uh, start writing epics or, and also user stories. So what we can do here is we can simply go to create and uh, in a moment you will see the that we can, you know, we can create a, a user story under issue type just click on story and uh, for today's tutorial I'm just going to put a uh, test user story with a description and this can very well be the acceptance criteria And that's how we create a user story. Now on the left hand side you will also see uh, you have epics. So we can create an epic. Under epics you will see create epic. Just click on create epic. And uh, we'll just create an epic for the user story. So I'm just going to uh, use a simple epic called epic1 to assign the user story to the epic uh, click on the user story and just drag it on the epic and release it. Once you do that, you will see that uh, this particular user story is now associated with the uh, with epic one right here. Okay, so uh, you can you can start adding your user stories uh, and create epics if you want to and. Uh, once you have done all the all the user stories and epics, we can you know start creating sprints. So I'm just going to do that quickly, and I'll also show you how to create sprints. So here we are. I have just created uh, so a few user stories for the project we have just created, and uh, the next thing we are going to see is how to create sprint and associate some of the user stories to the sprint. 
uh, you will notice that whatever user stories that we have created so far have actually gone into backlog and uh, only once you you know you have your sprint, plan, sprint planning meeting and once you start uh, or create a sprint you can you know then start associating some of the user stories to the sprint so to create a sprint click on create sprint and uh, it's going to you know uh, you have sprint one as by default uh, you can always uh, rename this to if you are more comfortable with you know some <coughs> other naming conventions you can do that and uh, uh, to just uh, you know associate the user stories to the sprint uh, simply drag and drop into the sprint so for uh, for today's tutorial i'm just going to drop a couple of user stories into the sprint uh, while the rest remains into the backlog uh, you can you can go ahead and create as many sprints as you want uh, so for example the first one was sprint a second one we can create as sprint b and uh, I'm also going to associate one more user story for this once you have done that uh, you can always go ahead and start the sprint um, so uh, let's just assume that uh, you know the sprint starts from today so I'm just going to say sprint A starts today on 24th of Jan and uh, it has taken uh, two weeks of uh, uh, you know by default it takes two weeks of sprint so I'm just going to keep that you can always change the dates as as you like and you can say start so with that uh, it has actually you know created the sprint and uh, officially the sprint has started so uh, that's all I had to cover on today's tutorial uh, I hope this was useful uh, please do leave comments if you if you like it and I'll certainly you know see to it that I respond to any of your queries uh, keep watching this channel for more videos and uh, thanks for watching bye for now